Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Dave Greathouse, Remax Above and Beyond, and the Greathouse team here in Cleveland. And investors, this one is for you. Did you know that Cleveland, Ohio is one of the top 10 markets for real estate investing in all of the United States? Today, we'll discuss that topic. Let's get started. All right, so here we have it, Freaky Friday. Uh, I am joined today by my colleague, my friend, my business partner, the other team lead of the Great House team here with Remax Above and Beyond, and one hell of an offensive rebounder <laughs> in an over 35 basketball league, Mr. Josh Anton. Hey, cheers, cheers to that. Cheers to that, yeah, brother. Good, Appreciate right? you. <laughs> uh, so we're talking investing in specifically in Cleveland. Both Josh and I are licensed realtors. Here in Cleveland, we've worked with seasoned investors, first-time investors, people from out of state, probably even out of country, uh, folks that are here locally. Uh, Josh himself just became a property owner and is now collecting rental income, so he's got some great insight to it as well. So let's start there, Josh. You just got a property, what, a few months ago? Yeah. yeah. Tell us about that experience and, and how it's going. Yeah, um, really hadn't thought too much about investing until I got into the, the business the real estate business about three years ago um, and it kind of been mulling on it. You know, we kind of got in weird market sellers market. So not a ton of opportunities, at least from my vantage point, right. got really lucky, found an off market deal, a side by side duplex in a, in a really cool, I think up and coming area here in Cleveland and old Brooklyn. Um, the income was good. The numbers were almost too good to be true. Yeah. dude, and, and I just had to jump on it. So uh, fired up an LLC real quick <laughs> and, Got yeah. a portfolio loan, dropped that into the uh, dropped that into the LLC. I, I took over some really good tenants. It's been a great experience. I mean, it comes with challenges. Yeah. You know, becoming a landlord, you don't really know what to expect in some cases. Um, but all in all, I mean, rent's been paid on time. Uh, had to do minimal work to the place. Right. Um, and right now, I mean, it's cash flowing like crazy. So I feel so like I got about. really lucky, and I'm yeah. pretty pleased with it so far. Yeah, so if you're not familiar with the Cleveland market, you might consider this somewhere like an old Rust Belt town. It's not that anymore, yeah. right? Um, however, we still have a great rental base. I think something like 50 or a little bit over 50% of the homes in Cleveland are actually occupied by, by tenants. So from a, an investor standpoint, what does that do for you as a landlord? I was a little baffled by that stat, by the way, yeah. when we found that, that article that, that stated that. Um, there we go. Well, one coaster <laughs> down. Um, no, 50%, and, and we're talking Cleveland proper here, but you know what, what that kind of sends to me from a messaging standpoint is tons of opportunity. Landlords or, or investors are kind of in the driver's seat here, and we really set the market from a, from a rental standpoint. Yeah. Um, so whether you're new or seasoned, I think it just tells you that like Cleveland's kind of always going to be a, a hotbed for yeah. – rentals um and you know the the cool part about that is we're talking like right near downtown like these really cool areas some poised for more growth but yeah. like there are always going to be opportunities and people looking rent and rental prices have skyrocketed and and there's no stopping that in my yeah. mind at least not for the foreseeable future so uh, people have written how many articles about cleveland and investing yeah. like the, the first person that wrote that one like set off a chain of events like crazy but uh Cleveland's an outstanding, outstanding opportunity yeah. if, if you're looking to get in um, and at a good price point, frankly. Yeah. So speaking of that, I mean, like the median price point here, even for, you know, multifamily homes is still relatively low, like under 200,000, you can get some really nice properties. Absolutely. Whereas if you're trying to find rentals in Florida or California, you're just not even coming close to that amount. So the, the entry point here for you is going to be a lot lower as well. And I know you experienced that with yours. Yeah, you kind of get... You, you know, investors play in different worlds and, you know, there's the, the Burr methods, the one percents, and there's the flip onlys and long-term holds. I, I think there's a place here for everybody. Yeah. The nice part is, is even if you go for the, the more upscale, like, you know, if you're out in the burbs somewhere where you're looking for a nicer school district, maybe a, a larger single family home, renting to somebody coming in for a year or two, whatever the case may yeah. be, like you have, but there's still, we're talking 200, 300,000 as opposed to, yeah. uh, you know. 750 or a million in some of these other states but at the same time you can pick up a $65,000 flip 
in Cleveland proper yeah. and either turn it into a short-term, long-term rental. I mean, this is anywhere you want to play. Like we kind of have that yeah. here. It's pretty great. Yeah. And you have to break the bank to do it. So really low risk when you look across the nation, like we're one of the low risk entry points from an investment standpoint. Yeah. What, a way, what a way to get started. Yeah. And, and to go back to that point about the households, you know, over 50% of them occupied by tenants. I think a big reason for that is the abundance of multifamily housing. Like Cleveland has a ton of multifamily houses, whether it's doubles, um, you know, quads, triplexes, whatever. There's a lot of that here. And that probably, you know, obviously equals out to that number being over 50%. Yeah, multifamily is here in abundance. I didn't realize it until I started yeah. driving around. You know, like, you know, roofers probably drive around and look at roofs all day. Uh, you know, we drive around and look at houses. I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, oh, what would that rent for? How yeah. big is that place? But a total abundance of multifamilies. And Dave, like, the really cool thing about it, did you know about house hacking when you were 18 never, years old? Never, never. Like, house hacking, what a concept. And for those of you that aren't familiar with house hacking, like, buy a duplex. Like, let's use my duplex as an A plus, side by side duplex. Three bed, one bath with a finished attic space. You buy it, you live in half, you rent the other half out, have your mortgage paid for, call it a day. Living and just free. keep keep at it. Right. So that house hack, that first one can really give you a place to live, get your mortgage paid for. You can keep saving, 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 start paying cash for flips or whatever you want to do. Fund yeah. your portfolio. But for you younger investors, yes. I can't stress enough. How cool and and all and you can do that with FHA financing. Yeah, like three percent down, three and a half percent, down, percent yeah. down, and you can house hack and literally have your mortgage paid for. Yeah, as long as you're willing to have, you know, roomies yeah. on the on the other side of you or above you or below you yeah. or whatever. But what a way to do it and and abundance of opportunities for that. Yeah, in Cleveland. Yeah, so a lot of different reasons why Cleveland and Northeast Ohio certainly an amazing area to to pick up. Whether it's your first rental property or you're a seasoned investor and you're looking to add to your portfolio, sounds like you'd recommend it. <sighs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. If, if you can, you know, muster up the, the living in a in a duplex with renters. But what Dave, like, I, you just think about that. Like, what a great way to dip your toes into becoming a landlord. I, that's yeah. been the biggest thing for me. And I think, like, being a landlord isn't necessarily f for everybody. So maybe you're not a big people person. Maybe you palm it off property management, pay the 10%. For me, like I like to be really hands-on and, and we're in the people business. And the best advice I can give you is, as a young investor is if you treat your people right, you're open and transparent, your relationship with them, that whole thing. And I'm seeing this in mine, like I've transformed that relationship. And what it's done is it's opened the doors to communication, the rents on time. Like, I just feel like I got good rapport. I'm not going to be left high and dry. They're not yeah. going to damage the place. Like, that to me is a huge thing that you got to take into account when you invest. But when you treat people right, you'll get it in return most for of the sure. Time. For sure. So let's recap, right? Uh, lower price point, especially if you're an out-of-state investor. High rents. Rents have gone up tremendously. An abundance of renters. An abundance of multifamily housing. We've got houses here if you're looking for short-term, Airbnb, buy and hold, flips, Burr method, whatever type of investor you are. There's a space for you here in Cleveland, Ohio. Hey, do us a favor. If you like this video, give us a like. Maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. Josh? I mean, and, and let's have a little fun with this in the comments section. Like, I got a few ideas, like some under the radar, kind of low key areas that I think are poised for significant growth, not just in general, but from an investment standpoint that I'm kind of keeping an eye on. I'll play around in there. I'll give you guys a few of my, my uh, you know, my, kind of my ideas there. But, would love to hear what you think about Northeast Ohio or Ohio in general, if you want to start dialogue, but would love to hear what you guys have idea wise for potential investment. Yeah. If here. you are out of state, you're obviously going to need some local folks on the ground, be your eyes and ears. We've got great contacts with property managers, contractors, loan officers, Definitely. inspectors, you name it. All of our contact info will be below in the description box. Be sure and check that out. And if you're ready, uh, make sure you reach out to us directly when you want to buy or sell, or I guess invest. In your great house, baby. Let's go.